I probably like him more than most of my other colleagues like Ted, and I hate him. <laughs> so, and I think he, he kind of knows that. You kind of held out until they found someone that they liked less than you. Uh, you, you <laughs> there, there you go. L listen, that's uh, whatever you have to do. It, it, it is a powerful strategy, and, and compared to Donald, I am the quiet, shy, soft-spoken one. And it has been suggested that we are wacko birds. Well, if that is the case, I will suggest to my friend from Arizona, there may be more wacko birds in the Senate. Is uh, Ted Cruz a false prophet? Uh, listen, you can pick a lot of names out, but I'll let you choose them. You don't debate that assertion? Uh, I'll refer you to my remark at a fundraiser I made in, uh, in August in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. If you kill Ted Cruz on the floor of the Senate, and the trial was in the Senate, nobody could convict you. <laughs> Dan Don't Rollins. apologize to Ted for saying he should be killed on the Senate floor. Yes, yes. yes. We're not, at least we're not on the Senate floor now. We're, we're in that. Russell and Dan. He's kind of a toxic uh, guy in an office, the guy who microwaves fish. To get things done in the Senate, you've got to be able to get along with people. It's like you're living in a town of 100 people. And the point is, is that he doesn't get anything done in the Senate. No, no. He does not get a thing done. In fact, he really got the government shut down at yes. one point mm -hmm. uh, for no reason. Oh, okay. Now he's going to he's the guy uh, who fundraise over Al Franken said I might wait fit. <laughs>